later this week. The primary election season kicks off this week, and Americans are heading to the polls. Well, according to a new survey, the Democratic Party may be taking a serious hit during this year's elections because of President Obama's low approval numbers. One America's Augusta Cassida has more from Washington. If polls are any indication, it looks like the Republican Party will have their biggest advantage heading into a midterm election year in two decades. 47% of people say they would vote for the GOP candidate in their district over a Democrat. Nearly two-thirds say they want the next president to offer different policies than the Obama administration. However, while the midterms look positive for the GOP, the month of May will reveal a pivotal question. Can the Republican establishment tame the Tea Party and retake the Senate? In the past, infighting has helped produce poor nominees and cost the party control of the Senate. Right now, Democrats currently hold a 55 to 45 majority in the Senate, but are defending 21 of the 36 seats up in November. In key House races, the Tea Party is looking to upset longtime incumbents, including the oldest congressman, 91-year-old Ralph Hall of Texas, as well as Representative Mike Simpson in one of the country's most expensive House primaries. Democrats need to pick up 17 seats in the House to win control from Republicans, but that seems unlikely at this point. Why is that? Well, this is the lowest level of support Democrats have had during midterm elections since 1994, the year Republicans retook the House for the first time in four decades. Augusta Cassida, One America News, Washington. Tom Tillis wins the North Carolina Republican primary as the GOP hopes to gain control of the Senate. Tillis, the Republican front runner.